So who, who did you dance on this? We did, in house. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tim Vogel. I'm the director of IoT with KMC Controls, and it's great to be here with Air Comfort and Comfort Controls. The facility here is absolutely incredible. Obviously, their expertise is on display everywhere you look. I'm, I'm proud to say in many of these panels, I see KMC Controls everywhere, whether it's general purpose, whether it's the actuators and the air handlers over here, whether it's just the, the basic sensors. Pete Toes with KMC Controls, Senior IoT Integration Engineer for the Commander Team. I'm here today in Beaumont, Texas with Comfort Controls going over their factory, looking at one of the chiller plants that they're putting in on an offshore rig. One of the things that I'm particularly impressed with is they didn't go with factory controls. They actually put all KMC controls in for this entire chiller. This is a three chiller plant. It's got dual compressors on each chiller. They've got an amazing lead lag sequence of operation going. It's all made in America with KMC controls, all the sensors, all of the actuators on the air handler. So this job here is the chill off. It's an existing rig that's in the Gulf. It's actually in production right now. So we have to replace all five air handlers, all three chillers without bringing any back down. So we're gonna bring a temporary unit out there. We'll have a temporary unit as we change out the air handlers. The air handlers that are out there, we're gonna have to cut out and take them out in pieces. These air handlers are designed to unbolt. Every single panel will unbolt and come off all the way down to damper, even the plugs. All of our sensors have plugs on them, they just unplug. Mm -hmm. As we unplug them, take it all apart, bring it in there piece by piece, bolt it all back together, bring it back up. Same thing with the chillers, all three chillers. Yeah. 80 ton screw chillers, three-way lead lad. With the pumps, they use seawater for the condenser the control head pressure. Mm -hmm. So we're running seawater through this machine, right? The chillers are designed to also come apart and be put back together. So on this one here, typical chillers, you order them from the factory, you get the backnet interface, right? Mm -hmm. They got all the factory controls. So on this one here, we use bits of compressors. There's two different ways to stage these compressors. So each skid has two compressors. So the first thing we had to think about was equal runtime. You don't want one coming up or the other one to get more runtime. Anytime these chillers shut down, we swap the lag on the compressors. Equal run time. As we're staging up, we'll stage up to 50% capacity on the lead, 50% on the lag, 100% together, and they run together. Two of the chillers run together in a lead lag. The third one stays on standby. So you'll go here and you'll put the chiller that's in lead, select the chiller in lag, same thing with the pumps. So this one does. So anyways, it's all animated. The screws will actually turn as we go. The valve will actually open. It's pretty much exact replica of what we got, just like the air handlers. So instead of using the, the norm, ordering from the factory, putting the back, back end interface, we went all KMC. So again, I'm talking about two ways of controlling these compressors. You got four cylinders right here. You can either do four stages, Right, you can energize one solenoid 25%, next one 50%, 75%, 100%. Or you can do a dampening control, which uses these two bottom solenoids. From that, we use KMC, we give a pulse. With that pulse, we'll energize one solenoid to slide the valve, to slide the valve, to load and unload. We'll start sliding it to load it. With the other one, we'll slide it to unload. So with that, now we're getting zero to 10% loop control out of it, we're getting infinite control. Mm -hmm. So there's more staging. Now they can stage up and down together. There's less of shutting off and shutting back on. Better control of the chip. More granular. Right. Either one of these go down, the lead or the lag, stand by automatic comes up, mm -hmm. like it starts ramping up and running. So who, who engineers all this? We did, in-house. Yeah. In-house, all the transducers are zero to 10. Again, we monitor all the 
high pressure, low pressure, suction pressure. Mm -hmm. We even have a, uh, an oil monitor that goes on the side glass right here. There's two side glasses. So it actually monitors the oil level in the side glass. That's just going back to a PLC and then it's going back to our KMC controls. Okay. KMC controls and monitoring all the pressures, all the temperatures, mm -hmm. oil level and all. Mm -hmm. If any of that is out of range, we alarm, we generate alarm, send it to the control room. Alarm pops up on the HMI so the guys know what they're coming up when they're when they're coming out to see what the alarm is, they know what they're looking for. And the standby kicks in. Now you've got KMC is the only control you have to worry about. You don't have to go to carrier and get their uh, their PC, you don't have to go to a train, you don't have to go to JCI in your no. KMC is controlling it all and we're using a 5901. One single controller for the chillers and the air handlers. So if any piece of equipment goes down from the controller, they have to buy one part. They don't have to go get a, a part that's not in production anymore from the factory. Right. We send them a 5901 out there with HOA cards, program ready to go. And plug and play. Plug and play. Fantastic. We're excited to be partners with Comfort Controls because clearly they understand they need to bring innovation to everything they do, whether it's just the engineering side of how they're gonna tackle these very unique problems outside in the Gulf of an oil rig, or even how they could handle, in particular, customers and the needs inside of their commercial buildings across anything from pneumatics all the way up to our cloud-based software, KMC Commander. So it's great being a part of their team. One of the things that we pride ourselves on at KMC Controls is being American made. Everything is engineered, manufactured, and distributed out of Northern Indiana. That's obviously a very key value for Comfort Controls as well. I mean, everything that they do is engineered here, custom designed here. They do everything they can to make the high level of engineering that goes into their products. One of my responsibilities at KMC Controls is visiting our system integrators like Comfort Controls. We give factory support to all of their customers as well as them. So when they have issues or if their customers have issues, we're responsive. I hop a plane, I'm in town within the day. So how, how long did it take to engineer it? Uh, what do you think, Charles? So this, the engineering design all this? Start to finish? Yeah. You guys do amazing work. This is a simple one. Anchors, anchors being the right From Chevron to design everything. Start to finish, all the drawings, select the equipment, mm -hmm. sequence of operation, IOs, drawing for the wiring. Uh, we got a separate cable schedule, so exactly what cable to pull, where, to and from. Mm -hmm. Basically, Charles is laying out the skid as he can to make everything accessible. So it's easy to draw it up on a computer and 3D and stuff, but really, you get a technician like Charles that's been in the field for so long, he knows exactly where components need to be located. Mm -hmm. That way, if one goes out, you can get it out without having to go through a bunch of hurdles to mm -hmm. make it happen. And once you do it once, you can duplicate this uh, every, all over the place. Every job's a so little it's different. Everything. Yeah. It's application. For instance, so the air handlers and stuff, and the part. chillers, you know, mm -hmm. they've got to be all, they, like I said before, they all have to be taken apart in the field mm -hmm. and brought in in pieces. So this one's more unique. Where on other ones, we would have it all as one piece and they pick it up with a crane and set it in place. Is that just because of size constraints or because you're getting down into areas you can't access? You're with getting the crane? into areas you can't access. For instance, the air handlers, the doorway's too small. You can't just roll them right in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's got to be taken apart and brought in being yeah. Whereas this piece, picked up on a crane, and set down be, on a crane. And that's because this is a brand new rig. It's being built right now in Corpus Christi. Yeah. So everything's brand new as they build these the are buildings. These are retrofitted these are retro. without any downtime. Yeah. These are going out on a rig that's already running. We have to put rental equipment on mm -hmm. and then piece everything in. So are, are you going to go out and do that? I will not, but no. I will have to go out and do it. Yeah. yeah. Alright Charles, if we can unplug. How long does that take? This year? Yeah. I think we've got what? This is going to take, I think, uh, I think we have a schedule for seven months. Seven months to install. Yeah, max. I mean, depending on the It'll everything. Go needs, once everything gets in there, it should go pretty quick. It's just it's time consuming. So, and it's all about if they can have enough time to be on there, the whole crew can be on there, and POP issues. 
so it can be stretched out. So, so are, you, are you going to be out there for seven months now? Well, no, no, I'm done with all the work. So, <laughs> Try to let me. So, we I'm have, we have people, so the yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. So the people, I mean, your guys are going to be out there seven months. Oh, yeah. yeah. They'll rotate we'll, on and off. We'll probably go out there for a few weeks at a time, and they'll fly back. Yeah. 21 days. Okay. I mean, from my standpoint, taking all these things apart just seems like there's a lot to go wrong. Uh, not really. Actually, yeah. this is very simple. Taking it apart. Yeah. That's that's the easy part. It's right. just it's the the labor part of taking it apart, and moving it. Yeah. It really is module. I mean, it's plug and play. I mean, yeah, they've done an amazing it's job. It's all the same old, old and big. I'm confident with our partnership with Comfort Controls that we can exceed your high expectations on your next control project. Damn, I was trying to get a picture of you uh, admiring with your. <laughs> <laughs>